to this week's Game Maker for Beginners tutorial. Last, last week we were beginning to look at how to make a score in a Game Maker game. This week we're going to be looking at how to add lives to our game level so that when the enemies hit us our lives go down until we get to the point where we've got no lives and then the game ends. Let's start off by just previewing our game and reminding ourselves of, of what we've done so far. So I've just hit the preview button up here and the game level should be loading. We can see it's compiling down the bottom. Our game ideas are very simple at the moment. We've got our avatar, who's the yellow face here. We can move him up, down, left and right. And the simple aim of the game is to escape from the enemies. There we go. If I hit the enemies, if one of them hits me, it's game over. We've got our score on there as well, so that tells us how we're doing. This week we're going to add some very simple lives. The first thing we've got to do is we've got to make a sprite that shows what our lives look like. And we're going to make a very simple heart sprite to represent our life. So, for creating any new sprite, we right click on sprite click create sprite and we're going to edit our sprite and we're going to draw it ourselves and if we click create a new sprite there we're going to use a smaller size because we want our hearts to be smaller than our, our avatar so I'm going to make the hearts a width of 8 by 8 pixels and then click OK double click on the image and then zoom in using middle mouse wheel or using the, the plus buttons and then I'm just going to use the pencil tool up on the top left here and I've got red selected and I'm just going to draw a very very simple heart icon okay there we go absolutely perfect yes there we go so click the tick button say that's okay and click the second tick button and then we'll just name this heart SPR heart sprite and we'll click the center button to center it right in the heart and click OK so we've got our heart sprite there we can see it in our sprite sub menu the next thing we need to do is go into our objects and the first object we're going to go into is our avatar object so double click the avatar and it brings up all of our events and actions that we've got already and remember events are things that can happen and the actions are the consequences of those things so first thing we can do is we need to add a new event and that's going to be a create event and the create event says that when the avatar is first created and any action we put in there will kind of load or happen when the avatar is first created at the start of the level. What we want to do is if we go down to score we can see we've got our lives submenu under score and we want to say that when the avatar is first created we set the lives. I'm going to drag across set lives. I'm going to set our lives to we'll set them to four lives. You see it says new lives four click OK. So when we're first created we set the lives to four so we've got four lives at the start. Next thing we need to do is go into our collision with the enemy object. At the minute it says when we collide with the enemy the game ends. Now we don't want that to happen. What we want to do instead is for the lives to go down. Now to do that we drag set lives across into the action once again and this time instead of setting it to 4 which is what we start with we want to set it to minus 1 and tick relative. Now by setting the lives to minus 1 and relative what we're doing is saying that when we collide with the enemy our lives go down by 1, minus 1, relative to what they were before. So one down from what they were for and click OK. Next thing we want to do is we want to say if our lives are going down by minus one each time what we don't want to happen is go down to zero lives and then minus one lives and minus two lives because the game will keep going. We need something to say that eventually it's going to end. And what we need to do is test the lives and make sure that if we get to zero lives the game ends. Now over here we've got test lives. See this little icon here? We'll drag that across beneath set lives relative to minus one. I want to say that we want to test the lives and if the lives are less than, so smaller than one, click OK, then the game will end. Now to make that happen we need to drag across a block so we go start block and end block with end the game in the middle and you should see it indents it across now what we've got is we're saying if we collide with the enemy set the lives um, so that they're one less test to see if lives are smaller than one and then if lives are smaller than one then end the game so if we've got less than a life the game's over so that's that part there next thing we need to do is because we're, we want to see what our lives are on the screen, we want to see the little heart icons, we need to add a draw event and we need to say we need to draw these these heart icons on for our lives. So click add event and then click draw and if we go to the draw sub menu here, oh no we don't need that in fact, if we go to score, score sub menu and back under the live section 
The last icon has a green box around it. This is the draw life images. Drag that across. X and Y is the coordinates on the screen where the lives will be drawn. Zero, zero is fine for now. And we want to set our image for the lives to the little heart sprite that we made. And click OK. The other thing we need to do whenever we use the draw submenu is that we need to make sure that our avatar sprite is drawn as well. When we do a draw submenu, that will be the only thing that appears unless we tell it to draw ourselves back on. So if we go into the draw menu, draw tab, under drawing you'll see there's an icon that looks like a person and it says draw self. Just drag that across as well. And that just means that our, our avatar won't be invisible. We'll see the heart lives and our avatar image itself. Fantastic. Right, so if we click OK, just double check that your object's visible, the avatar, and check that it's solid. Very important that it's solid, so tick solid if it's not really solid, and click OK. Next thing we need to go into, last thing we need to go into, in fact, is our enemy object. So if we double click enemy object, what we need to do now is just make sure that if the enemy object hits the sprite, that it bounces off and away. So click add event collide with the avatar object, collision avatar object, um, we're just going to drag across the bounce. And just tick it, not precisely, solid objects, they're fine as they are, just tick OK. Check to make sure this is solid as well, and click OK. So let's have this a little test, so if we click the little test icon, we should now be able to see that we've got lives on the screen, which is what we want. And the compiler should kick in any second now. Here we go. So, let's have a look. We should see top left of our thing. We can see we've got the four little heart icons. There you go. Very small they are too. And you see when we hit the enemy, you see my lives go down. If we have a look over here kind of set myself up, we can see three heart icons at the top there, now it's down to two and you see it bounced away, I'll move back in the path, I'm like the worst player ever, there you go, one, and this last one should end the game, if it's all set up correctly, it should test and go, oh, you've got less than one life, so game over, and there we go, game over, fantastic, so now you know how to create a live system, and how to add lives to your game, you can use this across a wide variety of of different game types and so have fun have to see what you can do draw draw a live sprite a heart sprite or whatever sprite you want add this to your game and let's see how exciting we can make it good luck